In this webinar, we're going to review how to handle it when an estimate changes on depreciated assets. I'm going to show you how to handle a change in estimate, how it impacts the depreciation expense of an asset. I'm going to review what can change, what are the estimates in a depreciated asset, and give you some problems for reinforcement. This webinar presumes that you've already mastered how to compute the depreciation expense and how depreciation expense folds into accumulated depreciation over time. I'm going to be answering these issues. What's the general rule about changes in estimates? How do those changes impact the depreciation expense? And some practice problems. The general rule for changes in estimates is that changes in estimates are accounted for in the current year and going forward prospectively. We do not revise prior periods when an estimate changes. An error is different. If you make a mistake, you must revise prior periods. Let's look at the difference between an error and a change in estimate. What if you had an asset that you estimated was going to last 16 years? The accountant that put this asset into the fixed asset software that was going to calculate the depreciation expense keyed it in incorrectly as 61 years. Or what about this scenario? The accountant realizes after you've worked with the asset for four years that it's not going to last 16 more years it's going to have a shorter life than 16 years. Which one of those is an error and which one of those is a change in estimate? The typo is an error and it must be fixed in the current year and in the prior years. The change in estimate only needs to be fixed for the current year and going forward. Let's imagine that we have a $200,000 asset when we purchase it, we think it's going to last 10 years and have no salvage, and we're going to use the straight line method of depreciation. Here is the calculation of depreciation when you buy it. Cost minus salvage divided by the 10-year life, so it will be $20,000 per year, and you can see year 1, 2, and 3 already done for you. The accumulated depreciation grows by each year by the 20000 depreciation expense. Now, let's say in year four, the user realizes it's going to last for eight years, not 10 years. That's a change in estimate. So it's not going to last the full 10 years. It's only expected to last for eight years. What do you need to do? The revision to depreciation is that in the year that you have that you know the change is occurring when you first realize that you need to change the estimate you change it for that year and going forward so in year four you realize it's only going to last eight years and not ten so you take the book value less salvage in the numerator and the remaining life in the denominator so for this particular asset let's see what that would look like the book value at the end of year three, which is the year before you realize you need to make a change, is 140,000 minus zero, no salvage, divided by the remaining life. So we now think it's an eight year life. Three years are already gone. So we've got year four, five, six, seven, and eight still to go. So that's five years. Let's change a different estimate this time. Same asset, 200,000, original life 10 years, originally thought to have no salvage, straight line method. But in year four, the user realizes it's going to have a salvage of 7,000, as opposed to no salvage at all. And let's stick with the original life, so we're only changing the salvage and not the useful life. We have a change in estimate. What will the depreciation expense be now in year four. 